Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to retrieve records into our or coming from our SQL Server 2005 database Express Edition using C Sharp Windows application. Okay, as you can see, guys, I here I open my SQL Server Management Studio Express and I have my tutorial database here and my phone book table. My, my phone book table I have uh, two fields here. I have one is phone number and full name, and some sample records here. Okay, I'm going to show you a bit my table properties. Okay, let's see it. Oops. Okay. In here, I have my phone number as the primary key, and the data type as virtual or variable character with a max length of 50. As you can see here, guys full name as the column name and the data type is also a varchar and then okay that's it now let's go back into our program now in my program I have my program name here with three records C sharp and then here is the form now let's design the form for a bit let's just drag some data grid view where's that data grid view it add the data and then drag it here and then let's drag some label here and then to change the text of the label or the property of the label you can just right click here click on the properties or and then as you can see here in this section at the text properties you can just um, let's say name it into a phone book records since our records is coming from our phone book table phone book records Oops. and that's it okay now we're done designing Let's place it a uh, bit higher, a bit, and then okay. Now, once you are done designing, now double click on the form. Now we are ready to start coding. Okay, before we start coding, I mean, um, since we are using Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Express, we're going to place or use some imports here as you can see it above here these are the imports okay now click above it at above of namespace and then type here using system dot data and then using system dot data dot sql client okay once finish Now we are done declaring our imports. Now, after we've done that, go above the private form one underscore load. We're going to declare our global variable for SQL connection. Let's type here SQL connection con as a variable or con is equals to new object of SQL connection here and okay that's it this is our global variable for SQL connection and then okay after that we are now in the private void form1 underscore load we are going to code inside the form1 underscore load event okay start coding at the form one underscore load event or probably we're going to use the try catch method or the try catch block I mean try then cut exception error and then okay in a try catch, we're going to specify our connection string of our SQL connection. 
Okay, since our variable for SQL connection is gone, we're going to call that and then put the connection string and then type here the data source. The data source of our database. I'm going to be use here a cosidan dash pc then comma one seven six nine then the network library network library DBNS S O C N the initial catalog shall my user ID oops Sidan password and then okay that's it we are done specifying SQL connection string okay here guys you can see in our con dot connection stream we're specifying our data source my data source is, is my server the acosidan dash pc and then comma is the fork that i use when let's say my port that i use when we are connecting to our network sql server 2005 oh by the way guys my sql server is allowing to connect using tcp or ip which means my SQL connection is ready for networking okay if you are not familiar with this or if your SQL Server 2005 database is not allowing remote connection you can just view my other videos and you can watch how to do that okay and here guys my network library it is dbms soc and this is the network library we are going to use since we are using our network sql server 2005 and we are connecting it using tcp or ip okay here in the initial catalog as you can see tutorial as a while ago i um a while ago i said that uh, my database is tutorial and then user ID, this is my just my credentials for SQL authentication. Across done, password, and then just my random password here. And then we're going to test con that open. We're going to open the connection and then close it also. All right, and then in the catch block, in case we have an error, we can just display it using message box. Let's type here message box that show error that the string. Okay, and then that's it. We are now done connect about the specifying the connection string. Let's test the program it is working. Then just hit the F5 or the start debugging or the click the play button here. Okay, no errors have been detected or no pop up message box have saying that we have a blah 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 error. Okay, now let's stop it and then let's go to the retrieving of records. Okay, let's go back into the try catch block. Sorry about that. Since we are not updating the database or we are not going to save records in it or we are, or we are just retrieving records, we are not going to use the con.open and con.close to prevent so many connecting into our SQL server because we can might have uh, trouble 
later or something error about it now let's declare our data table let's type here data table dt equals to new data table okay this is my data table and then I'm going to specify our or declare our SQL data adapter let's type here the SQL data adapter da plus new SQL data adapter okay select asterisk from oops I forgot my database or my table name let's, let me check it it's phone book my database is phone book from phone book and then comma con as you can see here guys my SQL data adapter is or having have a two parameters here one is the connection SQL connection string in my SQL connection here the SQL connection string as you can see this is a select query that select all the records coming from the phone book records if for example we want to or retrieve a specific fields from our phone book table we can just um, replace the asterisk using the desired field for example the full name like that okay but for this tutorial I'm going to use the select asterisk Again. after that I'm going to fill the data table using our data adapter type here da that fill dt then don't forget a semicolon okay then that's it let's put some comment here just in case we forgot the uh, or we forgot the use of this SQL data adapter this one is the load records or let's say load all records from phone book table okay and then after that since we did not rename our data grid view its default name is data grid view one oops why is that the data grid view is not displaying oops there is it data grid view one that data source oops, that should be data source is equal to dt dot default view forget the semicolon again and then okay let's put some comment above the data grid view one let's say uh, show the records to the data grid view and okay that's it guys yeah simple code how to retrieve records and display it into data grid view using c sharp windows application now let's start debugging or let's start the program if it's really display or retrieve the records coming from our database okay yes click the play button here again then let's check okay here guys as you can see i have my phone book or data grid view have displayed my phone records my phone records here uh, have my phone number 00 54321 full name Mr. Akosidan, Mr. Ako and then Mr. Dan let's check the database almost the same and then okay that's it guys if you like the video subscribing would be or so much appreciated and then thanks for watching again guys and oops have a nice day